again and welcome back to the channel Richard back here with another unboxing video today it's the 4k ultra HD blu-ray limited edition set from arrow video of Dario Argento's Tenebrae if that's how you pronounce it I'm sorry if I've got it wrong um, so I went with this release from the arrow store so it's just arrived so let's get this open with I've um, got some tear holes down the bottom, so I won't need to get the scissors out for this one. So I preferred this artwork over the other one, that's why I went for it. Um, cut down a bit on releases these days. Um, don't buy everything, so I had to choose one, so I went with this. So... Let's look at the side. It's a usual hard, rigid slip case um, from Arrow. As you can see in the pictures, which I'm shooting here in 4K, so you can get a good closer look. Okay, let's have a look at the back. So it's a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative by Arrow. Uh, this limited edition packaging has reversible sleeve featuring two original pieces of artwork. It's got an illustrated collector's book with writing on the film by filmmaker Peter Strickland and Argento uh, biographer Alan Jones. It's also got an interview with cinematographer and a new in-depth analysis of the film by the critic Ashley Lane. Uh, we've got a fold-out double-sided poster featuring two original pieces of artwork, six double-sided postcard-sized lobby cards, which have been reproduced. Okay, onto the disc. Disc one is the 4K, which is the original version. This is presented in Dolby Vision and HDR10. It's got the original Italian and English front and end titles and insert shots. It's got restored original lossless mono Italian and English soundtrack. Okay, there's loads of extra features there which you can read. Uh, you can pause it there if you wish. By all means, do so. And disc two is also a 4K, and this is the Unsane version. This is the limited edition exclusive, so it's only on this set. It's also presented in Dolby Vision, HDR10, and it's a re-edited 90-minute USA version. Uh, it's been recreated for this release from the new 4K restoration, which is the full 101-minute version, and um, they've managed to splice it together to get this 90 minute cut. So we've got two audio options here. A recreation of the original theatrical experience complete with jump cuts and sudden audio shifts and a more seamless edit created for this release. Both have been restored in lossless English audio. Okay, and disc three is the Blu-ray of the original version. So I will probably check these both versions out because I'm intrigued with the um, with the unsane version, but um, obviously my first port of call will be the original version. Um, and there's the back. So let's slide this out. So as usual, there's a look at the inside case. It is the usual proper quality from Arrow. Okay, so we've got a book. Tenny Bra. Antenna Bray on the front. We have the posters and we have the 4K keep case. So if we have a look at the keep case, exactly the same on the back. This is housing three discs. So let's open this up. So we've got the cards on the left. We've got the first disc. The Unsane version and the Blu-ray, which is region B locked. Okay, but of course the 4K discs are region free. So let's have a look at the alternative artwork. So there you go. I think I'll stick with um, 
what I've got. Okay, while I'm here, let's check the discs out. Okay, the first disc is a triple layer, so a 100 gig disc. So that's great to see. The Unsane version is a dual layer, so 66 gig for that. Uh, while I'm checking out discs, I might as well. Yep, 50 gig for the Blu-ray. Dual layer. Okay, so moving on to the cards. And the flyer is for the Sacred Spirit. Okay. So, quite nice. Let's have a look at the poster. Okay, so, first side is obviously the cover artwork. Which is quite nice. On the flip side, I don't want to get this wrong. I'm going to say Japanese. Do forgive me if I've got it wrong. Um, I'm seeing a Herald logo in the corner, so I'm thinking it's Japanese. Okay. Moving on to the booklet. Let's get a better focus on that one. Okay, it's not going to go on this one. There you go. So, rigid bound. So, good high quality again from Arrow. Uh, don't expect anything less these days. Had so many, so um, we know what to expect. Okay, so I'm just going to flick through. You can see there's a variety of photos and essays. So it's always a good read. I do go back and read these after. So let's have a look at the notes about the restoration. Okay, I'm trying to see, right, so the grading was done at Silver Salt Restoration in London. The title sequence for in, uh, for the Unsane version was scanned from a 35mm print in 4K resolution, uh, resolu resolution at AGFA and restored and graded the same at Silver Salt. Okay. The original materials for the movie were supplied by Intra Movies. The unsane print was supplied by Agfa. This new cut was confirmed at Arrow Films by Michael McKenzie. And the restoration supervised by James White. So, some good names there. Okay, let's then have a look at the production credits. I'm hoping to see Fidelity in Motion. Um, yep. Yeah. This mastering is done by David McKenzie at Fidelity in Motion. So, yeah, it's going to be good. So, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the set. If you did like this video, please um, give us a like. It does help me out a lot. And please comment down below if you are a fan of this um, Argento movie. Um, where do you rate it in his collection? Is it your favourite or not your favourite? be really good to hear from you i'm gonna give this a watch because i'm really intrigued so um thanks again for watching and i'll be back again soon and please consider subscribing for more if you like this sort of stuff because it uh, helps me out again helps my videos get recommended to other people who can uh, find my content um and hopefully i can get a few more people to watch it 
um, and, and just a couple that I started. But thank you to everyone that has joined and is watching me on a regular basis. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for the comments. Um, it's good to read them. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon.